Hey guys, it's Tim here, and today I'll be reviewing Marshall, which is a product that allows you to protect your websites against hackers. Now, it also comes with a lot more options like an ADA compliance widget, a privacy compliance creator, an SEO and performance uh, checker on your website, a website and security scam, a local business checklist and more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the details. But before I do so, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, it will redirect you to my website where you can find more information. Also about the pricing here uh, for $37, you can get access to this product. It has some upgrades as well. You can check them out on my site. There's a bundle deal where you can get all of the upgrades for a discounted price. And if you pick this up through my link, uh, you're also going to get all my free upgrades as a, as a thank you as well. So let's dive into this and let me show you how Marshall works. So normally when you log in, this is the dashboard that you will see. And here you can add all the businesses to your dashboard. So you can run this for clients as well. So when you click on add new business, uh, you can fill out the business name, the business email, the website of the business that needs to be scanned and the business region. Now, if you have a, uh, here the United States or you can do the European European union uh, or an online business does not apply now if you do united states here and you choose for a local business niche uh, then you will also get an extra checklist that i'm going to show you now i already added businesses to my dashboard for example here one to one studio which is a hair salon and then you're going to get this uh, dashboard here. Now, first of all, what you're going to get is a plugin that you can run on your website that will protect your website against scammers. Now, when I go to my website, I already installed this plugin, and this is for WordPress websites. Uh, this is what you will get. So you get a dashboard in here where you can see which parts are enabled. Uh, you can see here the threats to your website that has been detected by this plugin, and a lot of options here at the left side so protection here each tab has its own options as you can see where you can enable or disable options in here uh, you can have a whitelist for example where you can whitelist or blacklist ip addresses as well system restrictions uh, it comes with so many things here a server overview uh, hd access access of editor port scanner ip blacklist lots of things uh, but basically when you install this plugin it protects your website now i have to say i'm not an expert in security they say that this protects your website so that's what it needs to do uh, and you got some manual options in here as well as you can see so this is what you can install on your website to protect your website. Now, inside of Marshall, you have some extra options. Like, for example, uh, when you run a scan here, when you add a website, you will see what you're seeing right here. So this, for example, ADA compliance, this is complete. When I go to this check here, um, I can see all the options for this ADA compliance widget so here i can modify a widget for my website i can set the trigger i can choose the icon for example if i like to have an icon like this i can add that uh, where i want to have this positioned also on mobile i can say i want to have this at the right position so here basically you can set up this whole widget and you can go through each module here as well that's included inside of this widget where you can enable or disable certain parts of this uh, widget on your website and when you go to your website it will look like this so here you have this widget here at the top of my site and when i click on that it will open this accessibility center uh yeah where people with disabilities can enable or disable things so they can do content scrolling for example they can do this highlight titles or highlight links or text magnifier maybe they want to have bigger fonts uh, all the options are in here to become ADA compliant for your website. So that's one of the parts. And when you click on installation in here, this button, uh, you will get a simple code that you can add to your website. And this code is specific for this website that you've added to Marshall. Now, this is one of the options. That's the ADA compliance. The second option here is the privacy compliance. So when I click on privacy compliance here, I can make my website compliant as well uh, by making it GDPR compliant here. So high, 
and welcome to GDPR. And when I go here, you can see uh, the right to be forgotten is handled uh, via the Marshall WordPress plugin. So this is also included inside of that plugin. The same for data access, the same for data uh, rectification here you can enable this that this is enabled on your website now you can also uh, enable this cookie consent on your website and that makes it so let me reload this page in an incognito screen for example then it will add this to your website as well as you can see here boom at the bottom you can see this website uses co cookies and then they can accept it uh, and they can further browse your website. So that's also inside of Marshall here. And then you can enable this uh, if you have that on your website as well. So basically when you enable each part in here, you will see the, when you go to the dashboard here, you can see that this compliance is completed and this privacy compliance is in progress because we're still working on it. And the more buttons you uh, enable here then it will be at 100 percent once you're finished now it also comes with a privacy policy creator so by default it has already a privacy policy in here so you, you can preview this so it has not been marked as complete okay so first you need to generate this and once you've generated it you can also edit the current one so you can go over each aspect in here so here you fill out the website you fill out the website name the business region and you can say is this a business or an individual website then you continue and here you fill out the details like which social media providers do you use does your website app have restrictions to use below the age of 13 so you fill out these details in here and you simply go through each step which is uh, which applies to the website, yes or no. So you can uh, enable or disable these things on this creator and then save and preview. And once it's done, this is the privacy policy that you can add to website. Now you can copy and paste this to the websites or you can simply go to the privacy and compliance here and you can use this link and link websites to this privacy policy if you like. So basically this is a quick way to uh, add privacy policy to your website. The same thing is for terms and conditions. You can generate this and you can add this to your website as well. Now, then the next thing is the SEO creator. So let's say we have the Monaco salon in here. Uh, we want to do an SEO performance check for this website. Then you simply click on start, run an audit check, and now it will run a SEO check for this specific website. And it will show you the results within a few seconds. So as you can see here, this has a very slow page load of four seconds. Uh, you can see here it has no keywords on the site. Made a description tag uh, is not on this website. These things are on the website. You can go through each part here. So when we go to links, you can see it has 121 links. Uh, you can see everything about this website. You can see internal links, external links, jump links, uh, images. So you can see if the images on the website has alt attributes, yes or no. Uh, so this is... As you can see here, these are all the alt attributes that it found of this website. Uh, the content in here, so you can see how many H1 tags it's using. Um, and then you can use that for that business. When you reach out to that business, you can say, hey, I want to improve your website. And you can also run a report for this as well. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, like I said, you're also going to get my bonuses. One of the bonuses is a local SEA agency suite, which gives you more advanced reports that you're seeing uh, right here in this report. So you're gonna get that as a free upgrade as well. So when we go back to our dashboard here, you can also run a website security check. Now, when you go here, uh, you can decide here, you can see this WordPress plugin that you can install to your website. And you can also say, I want to run a scan. I want to run a full scan, a fingerprint scan, an SQL injection. Uh, all these scans are able to run on this website. So when you click on full scan and you click on scan, it will run a scan on this website to see which... Uh, vulnerabilities are on this website. Now, I already done that with another website like uh, here, and I switch business, you can switch businesses, and I go to the other hair salon in here. You can see here for this website security check here, uh, you can see here the details of this check. So you can print this report or download this report. Uh, and here it will show you all the findings. So here you can see some things that are red marked here. So this is 
probably a problem here uh, where you can see cross-site request 40 is an attack that forces an end users to blah 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 and here you can see the result that it found and then in here you can also see how to fix this now if you know how to fix this yourself you can do that uh, but you can also hire external businesses to fix this and if you do this for clients you can send these reports to clients and say hey we want to fix this for you uh, your website at this moment uh, is not secure and we can fix this for you so uh, at the start here you can see um on the dashboard you can send generate report here and then it will generate your full report for you that you can send to clients as well now if you selected a local business here you can click on local business and then you have a checklist for this local business as well so i've selected hair salon so here uh it says you've no doubt that the name for a salon since it was merely a daydream blah 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 so here it needs some requirements in some states for example so if you check this if this is correct you can confirm this and now this is compliant so you have all these check marks these checklists that you can go over uh, to see if a business is fully compliant so you can offer this as a full package and if you like to you can also add new items on the checklist as well and uh, yeah, that's basically what you can do for each business. So this is a specific business with all these options in here where you can run all these checks, where you can install the plugin on the website that you're just scanned. Uh, and then also add this ADA compliant widget to the specific websites that you're working on. And you have a dashboard here where you can manage all the businesses that you've added to your account. And that's basically, in a nutshell, what Marshall is all about. Uh, if you're interested, there's a link in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website and my website will redirect you to the sales page where you can find more information uh, about Marshall. Uh, but yeah, this was a quick overview so that you have a good idea of what Marshall is all about. And if you're interested, you can pick it up. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, give a like to this video if it was useful. Consider subscribing if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews. Uh, so hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new review. Uh, and for now, I want to say thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.